a volcanic island which plays host to South Africa's weather observation station. Here, scientists collect data and monitor climate change and the impact of severe weather along South Africa's coastline. The information gleaned feeds into the climate and weather models used by the South African Weather Service. Some of the science that they've done on this particular voyage is looking at this very complex relationship between atmosphere and carbon. Remember, the ocean is a natural absorber of carbon. We spew it out into the atmosphere, the ocean absorbs it, right? So what they are looking at is that rate of exchange. How quickly can the ocean do it? Because that has a different implication in terms of ocean acidification. So what we're trying to do is to say, this is what is happening at the moment. These are the things we can do to improve that situation. These are the kinds of things that we can do that will limit ocean acidification. Ocean acidification has the potential to wipe out any biodiversity. What we're doing now is to say, this is how we can limit that. And that's part of the research that was done now. The Voyager's chief scientist says various studies were being done using specialized equipment from aboard the vessel to test water samples. As the word says, oceanographic, we deploy equipment along the side of the ship, maybe down to about 2,000 meters, and then we bring them back. We collect samples. So there's an equipment called um, conductivity, temperature, and salinity, um, uh, CTD, Temper um, conductivity, temperature, and depth. So we deploy it maybe to 2,000 meters. As we bring it up, we close the bottles so that we can have layers of waters so that we can understand how the, the water column varies. So we bring those samples on board and then we do subsampling for different parameters like your, your biology, chemistry and physics. The department says the climate research done at Gough Island helps with developing response systems and climate change adaptations. If your climate change plan is not aligned with the best information, you're going to maladapt. And any economy in the world can't maladapt. So in terms of getting to understand that link between ocean, atmosphere, and getting the Earth systems and that information in its proper format, in its most accurate format, that will inform your response. So if that is not correct, your disaster management response is not going to be correct. It's not even going to be ready for the magnitude of things that's going to come. So the whole thing is just one interlinking cycle of getting to understand everything. It's not only the climate cycle, but it's our response cycle as well. Who does what and when? The GOF-70 team, which will spend 13 months on the island, and also consists of scientists, diesel mechanics and medical staff, departed last month. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.